We're the easternmost island in the United States with a year-round population that isn't connected to the mainland by a bridge. It's the ultimate small town America where everybody knows everybody else. People look out for each other. Without the co-op, I don't know, you know, there'd be a few people that would live here, I think, but it would be easier to sell on the mainland if there was nothing here. There wouldn't be a nail in the coffin, it would be, you know, that would be the lid on the coffin and, and the beginning of the end. The strength of this cooperative, I believe it's the cornerstone of the community. We feel like we have a, a tremendous product and we have a really unique story that goes along with that product. And that's what we want to try to sell. In today's food culture, there are people who are sort of looking for not only a story, but a product like Dyer, something that they can trace, they know that it's sustainably harvest. So we have just been researching and talking with as many people as we know to try to figure out how we can enter into the meat market. I think fresh is the key word. If you get a, a live lobster, I think it's just better than one that's been around for a few days. I think lobster meat that's just been cooked and picked is exceptional. There is that market out there for a high quality product and creating the high quality product we think we can do, we've, we've done, we can do. We had a, a profit of close to $400,000 a year so we have re a resource that an individual fisherman doesn't have and we're small enough that we can you know, essentially reach consensus on most things. I think the fact that we live on an island naturally pulls us together.